Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. So I have a lot of people who, you know, want consultations and they say, well, the master calendar, this is for people who are in removal proceedings. And they say, well, the master calendar, <clears throat> you know, is only going to be a, a short hearing. So I'll call you after and, and we'll see what we can do. And I let them know that that's a mistake. That is a mistake because the master calendar in a removal hearing is one of the most important hearings in the entire process. It doesn't matter that it, you know, once you get up there, it's only 10 minutes or less. That doesn't matter. The master calendar in a removal proceeding is the first hearing that initiates the whole removal process and it directs what's going to happen. <clears throat> you know, if, if you do a wrong, it's, it's similar to if you were a criminal defendant and went in there by yourself on the first hearing to uh, plea and you didn't know what you were doing and, and you just said, I plead guilty to everything. Okay, I mean, it's over. Okay, that's it. You get sentenced, sent to jail, that's it. So similarly, with the master calendar, there's, you know, charges against you and they have to be properly pled to. Uh, and if you don't plead to them properly, that's going to change everything. Then there is the forms of relief you're going to be requesting. So for example, if you don't plead to everything and it shows that the judge would have to make a decision on whether or not you're removable, the judge will essentially say, well, in the case the court does find you removable, what well, relief will you be seeking? Well, you need to have that in mind. You know, will it be adjustment of status? What is your current status? Will you be doing cancellation of removal? Do you qualify for asylum? Are there waivers you qualify for? Are there things that the court doesn't have jurisdiction that you need to apply for in order to give the court jurisdiction? There's all kinds of things. So the the direction that the whole case will take uh, is dependent upon how the master calendar is done, okay? And you don't want to, in this case, try to rush it through or save money on an attorney because you think, you know, you can do it yourself. Uh, this is your life we're talking about. This isn't like a, you know, a, a civil case where, you know, if you lose, you have a judgment and then you, you know, you have to pay it type thing. If you lose a removal case, you're going to be deported, okay? Out of the United States, away from your family, your job, you know, where you've been for however many years. And the law allows a lot of different types of relief, okay? If, if the law didn't allow any type of relief or any type of defenses against removal, then they would just issue the removal orders much quicker, okay? They would just check some boxes, say you're ordered removed, and that's it. So, you know, once you're in the United States, you have due process, and you are allowed to fight your case. So don't get into the mistake of thinking that only when you have the trial or the merits hearing that that's when the important stuff comes, okay? You know, real, realistically, every step along the way. All right.